So right now we are transitioning into um, the Gold Program, uh, which uh, is basically our career um, uh, market access program. So Gold stands for Global Overseas Acceleration and Learning Expo. So this expo will feature about five Korean startups that are looking to expand uh, into the APEC region. And um, can we go to the umbrella slide? I think just a reminder for those of you who have joined us, if you need to connect with the, uh, the startups or anyone here at the expo, please use the umbrella app. Uh, we do have uh, startup booths outside as well, so feel free to connect with them. They'll be here the entire day. So at the end uh, of our segment this afternoon, we do have our networking. So if you have registered for the event, please uh, join us there as well. All right, uh, without further ado, can I invite um, Inhi, uh, who's our pr uh, senior program manager for Plug and Play APEC. She's in charge of our Goal Career program. Can we give in here a round of applause to invite her up on stage? Thank you, Wayne, and thank you, everyone, for joining us um, at the Goal segment today. My name is In Hee, and I look after the Goal Korea program here in Singapore. And I'll be your MC for this segment. So like Wayne mentioned, uh, feel free to grab food. The lunch is ready outside, and bring your food in, and enjoy your meal while listening to our amazing startup pitches. So to kick off, uh, I'd like to give a quick introduction of our Goal program. Right. So our GOAL program, which stands for Global Overseas Acceleration and Learning Program, acts as a soft lending for entrepreneurs who are looking to explore or commercialize their products in the global markets. Um, we, our very first GOAL program started back in 2009 in our headquarters, Silicon Valley, and ever since then, we've widely expanded, and now we are running this program in multiple locations, including Singapore, Indonesia, uh, Japan, Korea, and Silicon Valley. And since 2009, we've worked with over 700 startups from 45 plus countries uh, across the world. And for this batch, we have two Korean government agencies as our partner. Uh, the first one is Gyeongbuk Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, also known as Gyeongbuk CCEI. And our another great partner, KISED, uh, Korea Institute of Startup and Entrepreneurship Development. So Plug and Play has been working very closely with these two partners to accelerate uh, promising startups from Korea giving them insights into global markets, as well as um, opening global market entry routes for the selected Korean startups. So I'd like to take this opportunity to send our, express our sincere appreciation to everyone at Gyeongbuk CCI and KISED for all their support to run this program successfully. Okay, now for our main event of the day, we'll hear from five of our goal program startups. So we have a variety of startups from different verticals, uh, such as sustainability, food and bev, uh, packaging, bio, and health. So uh, these startups are based in Korea, so they won't be able to make it in person today, uh, but they thoughtfully prepared pitch recordings for us to learn more about them. So I'd like to invite all of you to stay tuned for that. All right, so. Uh, just a reminder, if you like to get connected with any of our startups, uh, please bring out your phone and then download the app called Brella and start connecting now. All right, so now let's invite our startups. So bringing up our very first startup, we have Ripla. So Ripla improves the purity of recycled plastics by using microorganisms that degrade plastic materials. So let's welcome Dongun from Ripla. Hi, this is Alice from Ripla. We enhance plastic purity with bacteria. There are many kinds of plastics such as PET, PVC, PP, PS, and PE. Recycling companies have to sort all different types. For example, PP recycling companies have to sort only PP, which is polypropylene, which means 100% purity of PP that they need. This is difficult because plastic types are often used together. 2-5% to of impurities are considered acceptable, more than 5% cannot be used. So currently, recycled plastic having impurities do not make enough quality for product goods. Therefore, the price of recycled plastic is only 53% compared to new plastics. By solving the purity issue, recycling companies can make higher profit than the current state. Ripla have developed a bioreactor which uses bacteria to enhance the plastic purity. 
Our bacteria degrade only the plastics that pl recycling companies want to remove and doesn't eat the plastic that companies want to remain. By using our bacteria, they can have perfect purity of plastic that they want. By using Replus Bioreactor, we make it possible for recycling companies to reduce the impurities to under 0.3% of impurity degree and increase the value of their final recycled plastics to 1.6 folder higher than the current state. And that is 3 million USD price difference per year based on 10,000 tons. The process is, first mixed plastics are added to the bioreactor. In our bacteria degrade certain types of plastics, leaving behind per desired type of plastic. Replus business model has two ways to make money. First, we install the bioreactor to the recycling companies. Second, our specialists are sent to the facilities to maintain the bioreactor and feed the bacteria. Our expected world a sales scale of selling bioreactor is $80 billion, and the maintenance fee is $23 billion per year. Other than Ripla, there are no competitors treating polyolefin plastics such as PP, PE, PVC, and PS degrading bacteria to be commercialized. We have one registered domestic patent and two international patents. We are keep expanding the sales of, um, scale of culture. Um, after two more years of research, we plan aim to install a working prototype to a recycling plant and conduct a pilot test. Our team consists of 17 members, including five leaders and four experts who have more than 10 years of experience uh, in research. Thank you. Thank you, Alice, for the great pre presentation. So next up we have Gina FNC. So Gina FNC is a food tech company that combines the Korean tradition of fermentation with science to develop supplements for your uh, microbiome. Let's welcome Gina FNC. Good evening, my name is Jeong Jae Lee and I'm the speaker for Gina FNC. Our company is drawn and founded by CEO Yeon Shil Song. When her mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, she focused on healthy food to boost immunity and fight cancer. Fish sauce, soy sauce, and soybean paste have been our staple food in Korean Peninsula for a long time. However, due to the lack of oversight and scientific research, manufacturing process is often unhygienic and good quality condiments are hard to find even in Korea. We have identified these three fundamental problems food safety, accessibility, and lack of research. Our product, Wangxin, tackles these problems one by one. Let me tell you how. To tackle this mistrust of safety with our consumers, domestic and abroad, we attained FSSC 22000 that guarantees food safety management system globally. We are the first company in Korea that makes handmade condiments to attain this certification. We've also attained various certification of authenticity to comply with international laws. Thanks to this effort, we have launched our products on North American market by Amazon, with excellent review of 4.8 out of 5 and a steady increase in revenue. We expect exponential inc increase in revenue through overseas sales. To pursue quality control and further product development, we realized that we had to learn the exact mechanism of fermentation. Contrary to fermented food produced in Europe or Japan, Korean fermentation is made by a consortium of microorganisms. We set out to explore the uncharted territories of microbiome with various professionals. One of our current research implements the use of IoT devices to find the perfect environment to, to produce meiju, which is the first step to making soy sauce and soybean paste. This is our team of experts working with our company. With growing interest in healthy food, global fermented food market is expected to reach $5.9 billion by 2026. With this increase in market and demand, we hope to diversify our products and develop premium microbiome supplements with IoT embedded meju production. By this investment, we are planning to allocate our capitals to these following categories. 
As of now, we are only selling fermented sauces. With the technology of IoT, we plan to expand our product line to the microbiome health supplements by 2024 with expected total revenue of $1.5 million. At Jina FNC, we believe in Sikyak Dongwon, which means food is medicine. Through our vision and product, we will restore healthy microbiome to each and every customer. Thank you. Right, so uh, that was from Jina FNC. So thank you for the presentation. So third on our list is iTron. So iTron provides an interactive software and personal healthcare device for brain recognition training. So please welcome iTron. Hi, this is Ho Jun Ri of AI Tron from South Korea. It's great things to introduce uh, my company and Stable Med. Stable Med is an IoT smart med for walking and brain training. Our slogan is one step ahead with Stable Med. Let's boost your brain. I have a very uh, beautiful team member. Most of the team members are engineer and UX designer because uh, AI Tron is founded in March 2022. We just did you know, a startup and a venture company. And also, um, I have advisor community, um, professor and doctor. Uh, body balance exercise affected their child movement. Uh, we got an order from daycare center and child study center in Korea. That's why I just focus on development this year. And next year, uh, we'll launch in the stable math and CES show next year, January. I believe that not only physical activity is good for the health and also good for the brain too. Is that exercise that child can do in indoor? Yes. There are a lot of you know, the exercise in you know, the mat. I believe walking exercise with a game is a good way. I collect you know, data from their foot pressure, then um, childhood. Uh, and child get motivation with game and keep going uh, walking exercise. Stable mat look like very uh, simple black and well, black and uh, red color and size you know small yoga mat like this. This is IoT pressure measurement technology with game contents. And we call this one is complex cognitive training device. A motivation game and collect the data, I mean my data, and body balance exercise. So stable med will give interactive feedback based on pressure measurement and vibration too. Currently, uh, 40,000 child development and study center in Korea. The first stage market goal is to secure 10,000 initial user in Korea. Uh, I believe the monthly entertainment term is good for in a B2B market. My suggestion is I'm looking for a partner for open innovation. I got an order from uh, UK London. So Singapore also is a good place for POC, prove a concept and prove a value. That's why uh, this development is for wellness version this year and next year. But uh, after getting uh, FDA approval, I will go for medical version, definitely. So uh, this is a seed capital and early stage. I'm looking for finding a good uh, innovative partner in Singapore. Um, and thank you very much. All right. So 
Thank you, Ho Jun, for the presentation. So next up, we have GladEye. So GladEye developed a new concept of disposable beverage packaging. So let's welcome Jungkook from GladEye. Hi, everyone. My name is Jungkook Hong, the CEO of GladEye. Mm. Small things can change the world. This is the slogan of GladEye. Uh, we are developing packages for food and beverage uh, that are much better than the containers currently out in the market. Have you ever spilled hot coffee uh, or burned your leaves when using disposable coffee cup? Or when babies drink, uh, do you see them spilling it all the time? To solve this issue, we develop a new, much more advanced and eco-friendly uh, beverage packaging. Mm. Our first product is disposable coffee cup lid. This newly invented coffee cup lid has a function that uh, slows down the flow of liquid when you drink. Your hot coffee will come out always slowly. This will protect you from burns and spilling. Also, the lid is made by biodegradable plastic material, so it is more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Uh, this is our second product, is disposable spout pouch. We apply the vortex phenomenon to the spout pouch outlet which slows down the water flow in the packaging. Even if the user uh, press the pouch very hard, the liquid inside will still come out slowly and softly. This pouch is suitable for the low viscosity beverage like uh, mineral water and craft beer. This new technology is protected by domestic and international uh, patent. As you can see, the global market for disposable beverage packaging containers is huge. The size of magic lead and the magic pouch market is approximately uh, 30 to 40 billion US dollars. Uh, these are current partners who we collaborate with. They help designing and engineering and manufacturing of our business model to succeed. We are currently looking for more partners such as coffee franchise, food and beverage company, hospital, in local Korean market as well as the global market. If you are interested in more advanced and eco-friendly beverage packaging, please come talk to us. We are glad I. Thank you. Thank you, jong -uk. So last but not least, we have PS Space. So PS Space provides a SaaS solution for video editors to automate video searching by AI. So please welcome PS Space. Hello, everyone. My name is Hyun Yu, CEO at PS Space. I'm going to introduce Safe Smart Search AI for Video Editor. It helps video creators by automating the video making process with three steps. One, extract keywords from text file script. Two, aggregate and show all the results of video search on various video sites such as YouTube. Three, suggest most relevant part of a video clip with the text information. We use AI technology for step one and three with natural language process AI and image analysis AI. Global video mar content market is one of the fastest growing industry. In 2027, the global market size will be around $400 billion. 
That is because people can easily make videos and consume through various video platforms using a mobile phone. As much as the market grows, new types of video making also increase. The second creation of a video is one of them. If you use video sources which are made by others for new video making, that is the second creation. Almost 30% of uploads on YouTube are this type of video. And stock video sites such as shutterstock.com, the valuation of the company in this market is also getting higher. The most important part of the second creation is searching for video sources. But this process is unskilled and time consuming, quite labor intensive. Video related freelancers told me that if they spend 30, 30 hours for 10 minute long video making, they need to search video sources for 15 hours. Let's take a look why searching video clips accounts 50% of the, the entire process. Many video sites to visit, multiple keywords to search, and as a result, more than 20 video clips for each single keyword that you key in. In addition to that, you have to play one by one. Save will sol solve this inefficiency problem with AI. Think about the three steps I explained at the beginning. Our goal is 90% reduction of video searching time. NLP AI extracts optimized keywords from each paragraph. Save aggregates all the results from the video sites you selected. Image analysis AI suggests the most relevant part of video clip with the text contents. Core customers of Save are video creators who make a new video using already made video clips. First of all, video creators upload videos on YouTube, Vimeo, and other video platforms. The more unlocks, the more money they can make. In short, they really need to save the time to make videos. Another core customers are e-learning content companies and content providers and video related freelancers are also core customers. We have three strengths as a startup. First, fast execution. Second, technology capability. Third, we know video content industry. We complete the first MVP in five weeks, which is 50% of core functions. And we also expect a second MVP in November of this year. We have AI experts from Seoul National University. They lead the junior members of the tech technology team. We already made revenue from video production and streaming service. That is why we know co-customers pain points and we can leverage the video making process data for machine learning for SAVE. Thank you for listening. Okay, so thank you Hansu and also to all of our startups uh, that pitched today for the great presentation. So um, now, so if you like to get connected with any of the pitching startups today, please indicate your interest by scanning the QR code on screen. And if you have any um, or questions about the program or like you'd like to get to know more, then uh, please don't hesitate to approach myself or any of our program teams here. So with that, um, thank you everyone again for joining the goal segment today. And then I will pass the mic back to Wayne uh, to bring on the next segment. Thank you. All right, thank you. Can we give in here a round of applause and an applause for our Korean startups? As you can tell, it's not easy to, uh, for them to pitch it in English. So uh, we've been working a lot with them on that. So hope that uh, they actually got the point across.